What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. Just want to say welcome back to my channel and we're back for another box break and today I got the 2017-2018 SP Authentic Hobby Box. Now, as you know, this is my favorite set, um, even though the 17-18 class doesn't have the best crop of rookies, but I still don't have a Brock Besser Future Watch Auto, I don't have Killer Yamamoto, for example, and um, a lot of hobbies has tasked me to uh, find Ivan Barbashev for him. So that's why I got another one of these right here. But of course, the main draw is potentially getting the buyback of the Connor McDavid Young Guns number to 97. Now, as of 2018, more than half of those have already been claimed, so the chances of finding one now is not that great. But you know what? Since this is still available on the market, might as well pick one up and see if there's any shot at, get at getting that card. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? It only costs money, and I'm spending heaps of it on hockey cards. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, let's get cracking onto this uh, box break. All right. So the main draw of this one here are the Future Watch Autos for the most part and most of them are just career AHLers. So at least from this particular set. But anyway, we got uh, 18 packs per box and five cards per pack. And uh, there is guaranteed two autographs in total, but sometimes we might get a bit lucky, so we shall see. The knife is not cooperating today. All right, there we go. Got the box open, and of course they're advertising the Banty program, but I'm not participating in that. All right, so we're gonna grab these packs out and slide the box over to the back for display. Now, if you guys do like these card break videos, definitely give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And let the break begin. All right. I don't think I've ever pulled a patch auto from the 1718 set either. So that's uh, that's another thing I'm trying for. <laughs> so we can start things off with Steven Stamkos, Vladimir Tereshenko, in authentic moments of the Detroit Red Wings. There we go. Decoy, John Tavares, and David. Pasternak. Pack number two. Now I haven't had too much success with uh, this particular set of SP Authentic, but we shall see. We got Mario Lemieux, we got the Jackal, and we have a Spectrum FX of Phil the Thrill slash Hot Dog Kessel. So that would be part of the uh, bounty program, but I'm sure that's already filled up by now. We got Alex Barkov. And Jonathan Drouin. Pack number three. All right. These ones all have decoys, unlike the uh, latest set. We have Nino Niederreiter, Ryan Kessler, and a rookie year milestones of Steve Mason. Uh, he did have a pretty hot start for the Columbus Blue Jackets, but his uh, career kind of fizzled out. After that, we have Jimmy VC and OEL. On to the next one. Yeah, it's actually kind of cold in the house today. Uh, it's in the middle of winter here. And uh, surprisingly, it's colder inside my house than it is outside. It's weird. Anyway, we got Gina Schwartz, Ryan Johansson, and a Young Guns update of Jeff Glass. There we go. Not a particular good one to get anyway. <coughs> Decoy, Jordan Eberle, and Ken, Cam Atkinson. All right. To the next pack. Doesn't look like there's a patch. <laughs> we got Victor Hedman, Patrick Waugh, and a rookie year milestones of Natty Mack. That's another insert there. Corey Perry and Tyler Sagan. Former number two overall draft pick. All right. We have Ryan Strome, Sid the Kid, and a red 
Colton Pareko. So that's our third red, first red parallel on this one. We have Brendan Saad and Mark Shifley. Onto this middle stack of cards. This feels awfully thick, but it's just a decoy once again. We have Kevin Shattenkirk. Feel the thrill. And authentic moments of Hank Sedin. There we go, joining the thousand point club. And we have a decoy. John Gibbity Gibson and Yarmer Yager. All right. To the next one here, we have Max Pacioretty, Andrew Ladd, and a red PK Subban. Decoy again, Jakob Voracek, and Mark Andre Fleury. Okay, on to the next one. Let's have a look here. Another decoy. We have Jeff Carter, Natty Mac. And an object update of Thomas Tata during his short stint with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Logan Couture and Noah Hanfin. So far, no luck with any future watch autos at all. Or Connor McDavid. Um, we have Joe Pavelski, Bobby Lou, and a Spectrum FX future watch level one of Christian Yaros. Well, uh, if there's only a break where I don't drop a card, right? Anyway, Christian Yaros, Spectrum FX. We got everyone's favorite, Sebastian Ajo and Daryl Sittler. To the next one, another big fat decoy in this. Mike Hoffman, Nikita Kucherov, and we got a sign of the times Number to 99. So this is a rookie sign of the times of Alex DeBrincat. That is a solid pull. That's a nice card. Sweet. All right. Sign of the times number to 99 of Alex DeBrincat. Awesome. Wish it was a future watch auto, but that will that will do for now. That will do for now. TJ Oshi and Derek Stepan. All right. So that's one auto. So far. We have Miko Ratsanin. Oh, it looks like a uh, signature on this one. We got Pavel Bure and a Colorado one. So JT Comfer, Future Watch Auto. There we go. Already spoiled it pretty quick. So there we go. Future Watch Auto of JT Comfer. We got Leon Dreisaitl and James Neal. All right, on to the last stack of cards. So we got our two guaranteed autos. Hopefully lucky enough to pull a third one or that particular buyback Young Guns. Scott Darling, Alex Ovechkin, Anze Kopitar Red. We got the great one and 20 cent. Have a look. Yeah. Doesn't look like we'll get a patch auto in this. So anyway, we have Connor Sherry, Brent Burns, and a rookie year milestones of Duncan Keith. Decoy, Devin Dubnik, and Duncan Keith once again. Now these packs are relatively easy to open, unlike the current release, which is ridiculous because Upper Deck's making it harder and harder to open up these packs. We have Carey Price, Matthew Kachuk, and a Upper Deck update of Peter Mrazek. And I totally forgot he played for the Flyers. So there we go, Peter Mrazek. Currently with the Canes. We got Evgeny Kuznetsov and Tukarask. And yes, he does have the deadliest farts according to Zidane O'Shar. All right. On to the next pack, we have Riley Smith, Mikhail Granlin, and a rookie year milestones of Tom Barrasso. We got a decoy, 
Patty Marlowe, and Marcus Johansson. All right, my fingers are cold, losing sensation right now, <laughs> making it harder to open up these packs. We have Patrick Lining, Eric Carlson, and we have a Young Guns update of Colby Cave, back when he was with the Bruins. Uh, rest in peace, Colby. Um, unfortunately, he passed earlier in the year, um, and that was definitely one of the tragic stories of the year. So uh, yeah, and uh, it's great that the Oilers paid tribute to him uh, before kicking start the uh, or restarting the season as well. So that that puts this on a rather somber note. Um, but yeah, Colby Cave, you know. I've heard many stories of him being a great character guy, so it's really sad to to see this happen. So there we go. Young Guns update of Colby Cave. Uh, we have Brad Marchand and Bren Bishop. On to the last pack of cards. Last chance at getting something good. We shall see. We have Christian Dvorak, Anthony Mantha, and authentic moments of Colton Sissons. Decoy. We got Connor McDavid. Just not the young gun. <laughs> and finishing things off with Pavel Satcha. So, not the greatest box, but it's actually not too bad either. I mean, the autograph is pretty decent. Uh, in terms of the two autographs that we got, we get we got the future watch auto of JT Comfer, but I'd say the hit of this one here is definitely the auto of Alex DeBrincat. Sign of the Times rookies number to ninety nine. There we go. Anyway, let me know what you think think of this box here. Um, yeah, if you do like what you see, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There'll definitely be more hockey break content on the way. Anyway, I almost had this in one take, but I still had to stuff it up at the end. So uh, before I finish things off, highlight card of the day is the sign of the times of Zach Hyman. Fantastic player right here for the Maple Leafs and will likely need a pay raise eventually. But he's the guy that does all the dirty work for the top players and uh, which helps them, you know, score some more goals. But anyway, uh, here we go. Zach Hyman, sign of the times. And that was for my last 1718 SPA box break. As for the movie recommendation of the day, I got Jumanji The Next Level, which is another fantastic sequel in the Jumanji series. Um, the funniest thing is when I went to pick up this particular movie at the uh, at the store, um, I searched through the whole Blu-ray section, could not find it. And uh, when I asked the staff for help, they uh, sheepishly pointed me to the children's section to get this movie. So <laughs> that's where I found it. Didn't realize they would slot that into the children's section of the store. But anyway, that is it for 2017-2018 SP Authentic. So thank you guys once again for checking out the video. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and uh, you're, you know, uh, staying healthy. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Silver Zero Breaks. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.